one more week of January left and things are looking good. Here's about $5,000 worth of honeybees right here. And if you haven't seen my videos, I take an LED flashlight and I look in the shim here where I put the sugar and I can see where the cluster is and I can determine how big the cluster is with my hive tool by cracking it open a little bit. And if they get too small and I'm worried about losing them, this is gonna be our coldest week. Single digits for three nights in a row. If I find them chilled early in the morning, I bring them in. And in here, there is 65 colonies, basically $10,000 worth of honeybees right here in this room. $10,000 worth of honeybees in this room. I don't buy honeybees, I don't buy queens, I don't buy packages, I don't buy nukes. I breed my own queens. Um, the smallest ones went in the window at the end of summer, early fall. And I monitor the size of the cluster. If I'm worried about them getting too small, I take these colonies here that are a little large. Sometimes I bring in colonies that are too large. Like this one here. I can either... Uh, take this out and let bees out or I can just go ahead and release the strap and just let the bees come out. I did it a couple days ago with three colonies because I found 49 really small. I took three colonies worth of bees. I went up to the windows here, I gathered them up. I took this, this deep off, I set it aside and I had them in a container right here. You shake it like that, they keep them a little bit confused and, and as you're shaking it, you open up the the cover here for that one and you toss them in and that saved that colony let me show you what I mean by saving this colony see I know how big the cluster is by looking you see that well there's a bee right there generally they stay in there when I look get back in there girls Nobody else in the world does this that I know of. You know, if I have an issue with a colony that didn't get good mite treatment or whatever, and I find them too small, I can put them in the window if I have room. If I don't have room in a window, I bring them in here, and I'll carry them in and out all winter long, depending on how large they are and the temperature outside. I mean, really, are you guys really that stupid that you just let your bees die during the winter, and then you got to replace them either by splitting in a colony or buying a package, man. I'm gonna be have. I'm gonna have so many colonies here this year. I get busier every year. My videos are gonna end soon because I don't have time to do these videos. I mean, really. Here, here's another one here that's large. See, I don't have time today. I got busy out in the garage and shed cutting wood. But maybe tomorrow, if I have time, I'll let some of these out, and then I can find the smallest colony in the window, and I can add bees to it as long as I add more than one colony see what happens is when you add several colonies you get them combined together they're disorganized they won't really attack the queen in that small colony because they come from different colonies so it's um just like drifting you know when you have during the summer and you have bees going from one hive to another drifting i'm just doing that during the winter but i combine several colonies into one container and then i'll put them in a small colony and they will assimilate they will adapt to that new queen and I have been finding every time I check a colony I've been finding queens when I use formic pro formic acid it's very common to find no queen at all because that formic pro formic acid killed the queen 10% of them at least is what I figured it's not safe for your bees and then when I used uh, when I bought foliage Russian bees thinking Russian bees were better they weren't they were actually worse than the bees I had previously so you're just better off buying a regular honeybee and doing mite treatments because Russian bees are an inbred joke is what they are. They're inbred, they're poor quality, they don't grow fast enough, and they're not mite resistant, okay? Thank you.